So hi guys, good morning. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get low competition keywords with high search volume, okay? When we talk about low competition keyword, we are talking about some kind of long tail keywords and then with a search volume of at least 10 monthly. This way you can actually get your keyword, um, getting your traffic even with um, a new blog or a new domain, right? So let's get right into it. So we need in two tools. One is free and the other is um, paid, but it's cheap, around $10. So the two tools we'll be using is um, keywordsheeter.com and watch my sidebar, keywordsheeter.com. You can see it. I don't know if you can, but let me move this stuff here. Okay, keywordsheeter.com and then keywords everywhere. Keywords everywhere. These are some popular SEO plugins. Keywords everywhere Chrome extension. Okay, the keywords everywhere Chrome extension. I mostly use it just to see estimated search volume, not for the actual keywords you search. Right. So if you can't afford, um, if you can't afford, um, a, um, high end SEO tool like Ahrefs or SMrush, you could just you know, um, get this keyword Chrome extension. is a is a good plugin. It's also used for some kind of intensive keyword research. All right, so let's get right into it. However, if you are not concerned about the keywords search volume, estimated volume per se, you can just use this keywordsheeter.com, keywordsheeter, keywordsheeter.com to get unlimited keywords, unlimited keywords. All right, so it's free. How do you use it? You go to keywordsheeter.com, you can see it here. And then you type in your seed keywords. For example, let me use um, cutting, cuttings. Is it the spelling of cuttings? Cuttings, cuttings. What am I even spelling? So cuttings, this is our seed keyword. And we click start shooting. So the team will start getting keywords that are that are discoverable on Google, all right? However, for a new website, especially if you are a niche blogger, what do I mean by a niche blogger? You're, you're, you are writing maybe Amazon reviews or you're targeting the foreign countries or a new, a new website entirety. I like starting with what we call question keywords. So I'm just gonna stop this and refresh this page. I like starting with question keywords. Questions are what people are actually searching for. They didn't answer. So you can actually get some low competition uh, question keywords on Google, all right? Which you can write on. Some of these question keywords will be rank, uh, we, we have some forums ranking for it. And whenever you see some keywords with at least three forums, right, right uh, two or three forums ranking for it, I always go for it. Okay, so I'll do something like, and I let's say, can I wash my cotton? Can I wash my curtains? And then I'll start shooting. Let me see if there's okay. Can I wash my velvet curtain? You see. There are so many keywords of, can I do this? Can I wash my cotton? So many of them, thousands of them. So with this, you can actually get your first 100 keywords, your first 50 keywords to start on a niche, all right? So you, you can leave it and it will keep shitting keywords. It's currently at 50 to, to keep getting new keywords, to keep getting new keywords to, up to infinity. So for time sake, I'm going to stop here. 
or let me let me leave it to get to 100 all right let me leave it to get to 100 keywords that doesn't mean that you write all the keywords here because some of them are actually the same they're actually talking about the same thing but the aim here is to tell you how you can actually get some low hanging fruits what we call hanging fruits low competition keywords you can get with some good search volume understand and let's assume that uh, maybe you want your sites to have been having 1000 traffic daily what you just need is either 10 keywords of minimum of 100 100 traffic daily or 1000 or 100 keywords of um, 10 traffic 10 page visits or 10 visits daily all right so these are there's some way you calculate these things you don't just post one article and expect 1000 traffic daily you know be much all right so i just have to stop it here i just have to stop if i allow it it will keep shitting keep getting new keywords all these keywords are actually what people are searching for on google and some of them do not have definite answer so the idea of um, having a blog is to solve people's problem someone is actually asking for if you can work, wash their curtains with this or if you can wash their curtains with, in washing machine and all that so you are at the right position to answer this question tell them how to do it if they can't tell them alternatives you're right and if you happen to rank on google you can actually make some sales get some good um um um, um ask click right theoretically but I'm just going to stop here. I'll just click stop. Then here, I want to check some of the search volume of this keyword. So I will highlight everything and copy. I will I highlight everything and copy. All right. So, and then I'll go to my keywords everywhere too. See, I have the extension on my, on my browser here. Keywords everywhere extension. Okay, you can see it here. This keywords everywhere extension. Then I'll go to bulk keyword data i want to see if some of these keywords if they have at least 10 searches monthly from this keyword even if you see zero that doesn't mean that people are not searching for it it just means that the two is not powerful enough to discover the number of people searching for that keyword so i have some keywords here so i want to see if there is some of them with um search volumes okay I'll come to this place, I'll set, I want to filter them out. I want to see keywords that have at least 10 minimum of 10, month, uh, 10 monthly search. So I just, okay. All right, I have filtered them from around 93 posts. We now have, for, now, for around 93 keywords, we now have 12 out of 92 entries, 12 that have such volume. If I were you, I do I will not be discouraged about um, some of those keywords that have zero search volume because I have actually written on them and they are doing well. Okay, let's check. Can I wash my curtains in the washing machine? Anyway, this is a this is a, a, a broad keyword. I don't think it's going to be low, low, low competitive. All right, so let me just um, check the competition on Google. Remember, I always check my competition manually. I always check my competition manually on Google, right? Can I wash my contents in the washing machine? Boom. I am going to write on this topic. If I'm, if I'm writing on this niche, I'm going to write, there is no site that actually answered this topic. Straightforward one. Uh, around the top 10 ranking sites. I did not see anyone optimized for this title. Nobody optimized for this title. Nobody optimized it in their URL, all right? So I can just give it a try, you know, 50, 50, 50 search per month, which can be more than 50. You can give it a try. So this is how I validate keywords manually. When I say always check your keywords difficulty manually, don't check difficulty with the uh, metrics. Like you say, uh, I have zero uh, KD, I have two KDs, no competition. No, 
you don't determine low competition by that's those number you come to your google and see the sites that are ranking for that keyword and see how you can optimize for that keyword and see if you can beat these sites all right now one of the advantages of keyword everywhere is that it will also give you related search of new keywords you can get new ideas okay i posted if i can watch this here and then look at ideas how to wash curtains with meta rings didn't even know that they can wash curtains with meta ring and they, it have estimated search volume of 260 the trend is promising look at this uh, estimated cpc how to clean curtains that are dry understand so let me check another keyword where is our keyword everywhere should i wash my burlap before making curtains well i do not know what this means but i just have to check it there's a keyword and people are searching for it i just have to check it on google all right okay Okay, um, I would I wouldn't want to write on this because some of the big boys in the in the department has um taken care of it. So this is how you gauge your competition. You don't want to come and start writing because uh, uh, and then you have to check what sites on Google. There are metrics like this one, dispruce.com is a is a mega site getting an estimated 23 million monthly visits. You right. So the 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 plugin I use here is called SEO Quick. Look at it here, SEO Quick. That is a plugin that showing me these metrics. All right. So um, you can also check your P Google PAA. People also ask. You can see some good keywords there. You can check. Okay. So uh, let me check another keyword from the Chrome extension. Sorry, from keywords everywhere. I'm looking for keywords that I can see. Can I wash drapes that says dry only? Can I wash blackout contents in washing machine? Okay, let me check these drapes. People are actually looking if they can wash. Wash. So when you get your competition manually, you're looking at you are looking at sites. If it is me, I will target this keyword. I have done it in one of my niche blog. Yes. And they are ranking in first page right now, getting me some small, small um, um, traffic. Okay. I think I would, I would want to just try and, because some of the sites that are ranking for these sites are not that, um, Okay, this one, this one answered it, answered it. I do some mega sites are still um, dominating, but the site is a, the keyword is not that competitive. It has estimated search volume of 10, uh, which could be up to 100, but this just give you an idea that people are actually searching for this keyword. Okay, let me check for another. All right, when you click on your this thing, you see that they are suggesting also, they are also suggesting some keywords to you with some good search volume. This one, how to clean curtains without washing. For a, a estimated 480 monthly search. This one, how, can you wash polyester curtains that says dry only? Polyester curtains. Okay. All right, even the first person ranking for this is not targeting this keyword. It's just ranking on can I wash cuttings that are dry only. But this one is talking about polyester cuttings that are dry only. So you see, I would go for this keyword and I will rank for it. Which look at this site, even ranking second, asking a lot. This, this is a nonsense site. It's just like a, it's an auto site. I thought this site has gone. I don't know, it's still on Google. So this is how I gauge my competition. I don't come and check. Uh, they say it's a uh, 20 KD. Uh, 20, so it's no, 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 no. AHS will show you some keywords of uh, even zero uh, keyword difficulty, even most. Most will show you zero keyword difficulty, but then they are super difficult, right? So this way you can actually get 
keywords from keyword shita can then filter them out if you are if you're concerned about uh, traffic search you can filter them out and then you, you check their competition check their competition i'm going to do a video separate video on keywords competition i'm going to do a separate video on keywords competition to show you how you can actually gauge a particular keyword and see if it's what you can write on all right always download this uh, um, related uh, this uh, keywords everywhere it's free you only have to pay if you want to be seeing this metrics here this uh, volume cpc but it suggests keywords for you for free i can actually get cool keywords from these two i have not actually mastered keywords everywhere because it's a, it's a, it's a good tool i just use it for to see such volume maybe on my free time i'll go to their site and check their tutorials all right i hope you learn one or two don't fail to share and invite your folks to follow. Thank you. God bless you.